Jezebels, I have a task for you. Will you please welcome my celebrity guest to the stage? Ladies. No, just go get him. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. Kevin Corrigan. <laughs> How many points are These those? These are sentence cookies. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're all friends. We met in Hollywood, right? Yes, yes. Uh, did we? Hollywood? Hollywood and Vine? That's usually where I hang out in Hollywood. <laughs> I think we met. Uh, right outside Showgirls, right? <laughs> if you're ever on Hollywood and Vine, go to Showgirls. Thousand of the most beautiful women you ever see in one ugly one. <laughs> oh, Kevin, how are you these days? I'm uh, craving sweets. Oh yeah, yeah. have some sweets. Um, these are Kit Kat minis. <laughs> I love sweets. Everybody knows that about me. I got a sweet tooth. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can't have any, so uh, don't offer. Yeah, those are sugarless fortune cookies. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you're an actor. People are probably watching, and if they don't know your name, they definitely know your face, because you've been in tons of movies. I suppose. Let's talk about Super Bad, Departed, <laughs> Goodfellas. <laughs> I love that movie because it's about bosses. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you still, you, you still. I thought it was about drinking. <laughs> I love that too. Can I get some cotton candy vodka? <laughs> All right. Oh, I was looking forward to a shot of that myself. Oh, it's coming. Don't you worry. So, uh, tell me what you got cooking these days. Oh, um, uh, you know, I'm getting, I'm uh, sort of. Trying out this crab cake recipe. <laughs> Going down to the uh, um, Chelsea Market for some crab. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hear the breadcrumbs are paramount. You must have the breadcrumbs in the, in the crab cake recipe. Mm -hmm. And um, um, that's, about all, that's about what I have cooking these days. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think I don't understand your games? <laughs> I'm an intelligent villain, but uh, <coughs> I will continue for the sake of the show okay. uh, and act as if you responded like a normal human being to that question. <laughs> what movies are you in? <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. You know, you can go to the IFC Center and, and catch Wild Canaries. It's still playing there. Ooh, how are you going to catch them? They're going to fly around. Hey, I can make jokes, too. <laughs> Tell me about Wild Canaries. Well, it's a murder mystery. It's, mm -hmm. I think that's, that was the alternate title, Cobble Hill Murder Mystery. Um, and uh, it's, um, oh, you know, it's kind of a fanciful uh, murder mystery. I love for, crimes. For, for, for our generation, yeah. Mm -hmm. How so? Oh, um, you know, just, uh, it's just a, you know, modern uh, take on, uh, uh, well, Manhattan murder mystery. You got titties? <laughs> and, um, I think uh, that's why I got held over for two weeks. Too much titties? Two, two weeks, a week per tit. Huh? <laughs> I like that, I like that. So tell me what else you do. Uh, Oh. What, what, outside of the acting world, what, what are your passions? Oh, uh, I love music. Mm -hmm. I love to I love to play the bass and uh, and slap. Uh, um, <laughs> um, not the bass, but I like to play the bass <laughs> and uh, um, and uh, I'm in a group uh, that I play bass in. Mm. 
Will they be joining us later? I think they'll be joining us shortly. <laughs> See, that's that. I could tell he's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> he's setting it up, but he's not a he's not gaudy about it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what what else you got? Uh, I heard that you also host a talk show. I do have a talk show. Uh, I was just substituting for uh, the original host, and um, and. Um, it's a year later, and I'm still waiting for him to come back. Mm -hmm. I'm still just I'm just keeping the seat warm. And what do you do for set design? <laughs> um, I just show up. Uh, it's uh, we we have it at a different place every time we do it. Mm -hmm. um, you should come on the show, Daddy. Sweet Daddy. Sweet. Daddy. <laughs> yeah, I could talk about crimes. <laughs> I could talk about the skull fucker. Have you seen the skull fucker? I, I, have a, I haven't seen the skull fucker. Hmm. Uh, so, you're a lifelong New Yorker, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about old New York. You know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Well, only this is very old New York to me. This is like a sort of Bill Boggs show on acid or. Uh, meet, meets uh, the Magic Garden or something. No one knows what these things are. <laughs> yeah, they, no one knew what it was then. It just, they just, ex they just, it was so experiential that uh, um, you couldn't tell whether it was, you know, coming out of your imagination or, a, or a, just a. Uh, well, I love to live the life deluxe. If that's what you're getting at. And uh, feel free, you could borrow any of these set pieces, because I'm just going to throw them out when I'm done. Oh, yes. Do you like this? Including that? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that available? That's available, yeah. Okay. Because if, if the whole thing isn't available, then I can just take one quarter of it. I like the green. That St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so I'll probably, mm -hmm. you know, take the whole thing and just highlight that part of it for St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. Um... And uh, I like this, I like that there, this, uh, the big heart. It symbolizes heart. love. Mm. Mm. Um, well, at least, you know, there's some, a symbol of love is there, uh, uh, it's got all these hearts on it. This is, uh, I'd love to borrow these Kit Kat minis here. Mm. I'd love to borrow another one. You don't borrow them, you just put them in your mouth and let it melt. <laughs> well, you know, um, I can't help it. I just start chewing on them. It's okay. It's a chewy show. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of a gamey. I'll do it too. It's the most gamey Kit Kat I've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> I like to let them melt. So back to old New York. Old New York. Uh, rules were a little bit lax. They were. You used to be able to sit on, on, on someone's car and not worry about them coming over to, sh you know. Oh, I brought this for you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's from old New York. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you used to be able, like, you know, the three of the four of us could just hate. This, oh, yeah, this would be coffee. This would be like a, you know, uh, the front hood of uh, a Cutlass Supreme uh, on the corner of 85th Street and 3rd, and we're just hanging out here all day long in the in the sunshine, luxuriating with uh, something from Papaya King down the block. Yeah. Uh, Having sex. Uh, all over the front windshield, mm -hmm. and then the owner of the car comes out, you get it, you, you're always on my car, let's go guys, let's get out of here, let's just off my car. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's how it was in old New York. People <laughs> shared things. You all know? very exciting. But I know you must have gotten into some real bad shit. What's the most villainous thing you ever did in old New York? Oh, you know, I uh, I didn't. I I, I, I I wasn't so tough. You know, I stole books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. That was a line from Barney Miller. I guess no one knows what that is either. No one knows what that is. <laughs> it's old New York. It's old New York. My my uh, history uh, pretty much starts at electro funk and moves up. 
That's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite electro funk song, Mr. Bass? Um, well, you know, I guess, um, I suppose I'd have to say the, uh, the Charlie Brown Christmas special. <laughs> uh, um, I like, I like those electro funk moments in that record. Look, I, I understand that you miss the actor, you miss the, you miss the big, but you in Sweet Daddy's house right now. <laughs> so I suggest you show me the right around, right amount of respect before I have my Jezebels rip your head off. Oh, is that a, is that a promise? Oh, it's a threat. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I bow down to your... All I'll say is sick them and then they'll jump all over you. Mm -hmm. We all have extra sets of canines. <laughs> now, uh, you've played bosses. You've played bad guys. You've played intense people. How would you rate Sweet Daddy Long Legs? Now, I'm the real deal. I'm a real villain. I'm a real bad guy. I hurt people. Well, I have people hurt people for me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what do you think of the Sweet Daddy experience? Well, I've always associated the, uh, the color yellow with the number seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but... I'd have to say uh, that that's what comes to mind when asked that question. Uh, precious air time. <laughs> <laughs>